Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. As you saw in the introduction there, I have something very cool for you today. It is Battle Royale and it is a game in a box, meaning you don't need any mods or plugins or anything like that. You can import this box right here into a regular vanilla world like we're in at the moment and you'll be able to turn it into a game of Battle Royale. So for those of you that don't know what Battle Royale is, it's something that me and the Hermitcraft guys did a while ago using plugins and mods and now it's been possible in vanilla due to command blocks. Um, but Battle Royale is actually based on a movie that is very similar to the Hunger Games and Survival Games and so when I explain this to you, um, a lot of it will seem quite similar, similar sort of concept but there are different things uh, with Battle Royale. But anyway, as I said, you can import this into your world and then you'll be able to play Battle Royale. Um, so I'm going to go through a tutorial as well showing you how to actually do that because it requires MC Edit and there's one or two little things you need to do to make it work as well. So you should be advised that playing this with your friends is a good idea but playing it with strangers probably isn't because uh, this thing can be broken if you try and break it. And so what I mean by that is when you press the start button and start the game um, everything will go fine, but if someone presses it again or presses the load world button um, then the machine will basically break and the game will be ruined. So if you're playing with strangers it's quite likely that you'll hit this button and then someone else who's not paying attention or you haven't said that you're starting the game will press it and the thing will break it down. So make sure you're playing with friends and make sure you know who is going to start the game. So with all of that out of the way it's time for me to explain how Battle Royale is played um, for those of you that haven't seen it before. So what happens in Battle Royale is when you start you are given random items, so some players could get really good items, some could get really bad ones, and then you're put into the middle of the world, which will be 0-0 zero, zero if you looked at X and Z. Now you get teleported very high up into the sky, just in case there are some extreme hills biomes at spawn, or 0-0, zero, zero, and you don't want to be teleported inside blocks, um, so then you will fall out of the sky and into the world. Now you'll have resistance and regeneration, so when you land, um, you will have your health, you won't take any full damage and then it's up to you to go out into the world and break blocks, it's not adventure mode, it's a survival mode game and so you can break and craft and do all of that and basically you need to gear up and get ready to fight the other players. Um, so everyone gets teleported one by one in 30 second intervals into the center so it's a good idea to get away from there as quick as you can because someone else might spawn with a really good sword or some armor or something like that um, because everyone gets random items. And so the main thing with Battle Royale is that there is a border around the outside of the world which is invisible, you can't see it. Uh, however, the game will talk to you and let you know when the border shrinks because that's what happens. It shrinks closer and closer to the center as the game goes on. So it starts off at 850 blocks away and then after two minutes you will get a warning saying it's going to shrink and then after another two minutes it will shrink again and it will go to 750 and so this border slowly shrinks in towards the center so you have a little bit of time in the beginning to get away from the other players and go caving and try and gear up um, but slowly the map will force you back to the center and you'll have to meet other players and so Battle Royale is a last man standing game by the way so it means the last person left alive is the winner uh, but going back to the border thing, if you go outside of the border you will get a warning message telling you to go back inside and after a while you will then start to take poison damage and then if you stay in there for even longer eventually you'll take wither damage and then you'll die. And so when you die you are out of the game, you'll get teleported into a bedrock box inside of this box right here and basically at that point it is advised to just log out if you've lost so you don't interfere with the game by spamming chat or anything like that. Um, but basically that goes on like that until there is one player left and then that player will be the winner. Okay, it's time to start the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, you will need a copy of MC Edit and a filter as well. Both of those will be linked in the description box along with a link to download the box of the Battle Royale game. Um, so then in your Minecraft client you will need to generate a fresh new world and then you'll need to come into MC Edit and open that world up. So before we get started, one thing I would advise doing is checking what 0, zero is on this map. So when you create it, um, teleport to 0, zero. just make sure that it's not an ocean biome because that would really kind of spoil the game. Um, but when you open up MC Edit, it will take you to the spawn chunks, which is where we're at right now. And there's actually a block that we can see for this. You can't see it in the game, but it doesn't appear to be... Um, anywhere around here that I can locate it but just to show you it's this one right here so I can actually move the spawn point of the game and put that there if I really wanted to um, so you need to locate that or just move it so you can go directly below it now the reason that we do this is because the spawn chunks are always loaded 
and we want our game to always be loaded so it can actually work. Um, so we want to hover directly above this block right here and then go all the way down so we know that we're in the spawn chunks because this bit right here is directly underneath it. And so then you'd click import down the bottom here and then you could select the file that you've downloaded which is an MC Edit schematic of the game box. I already have it on my clipboard so I'm just going to click there and then drag and drop this in like this. So I'm going to place it above this void area at the bottom. If I place it over here you'll see that it's higher up which is something that we don't want. We want to place it at the very bottom like that. Now it's also um, Make, you, need to, uh, you need to make sure that you click on copy air over here as well. If that's not ticked that could cause a problem uh, and so that is literally it. You then click import. So now we've imported the game into the world we can actually see inside of the box. Um, what we need to do next while the area is still selected is click on filter and then we need to select the correct filter which is command block signs and then you click on filter and then that's done. So now you can save the map like that and it's almost ready to play. Now you need to open up the world and do one more thing before it's ready to play. So we're back in the world and I put myself into game mode 0 so the box then teleported me down here and now I'm in game mode 1 again but what you need to do when you log into the world is actually type in a bunch of commands. Now you can copy and paste them into Minecraft so if I press Control V uh, the first one appears there and there's simply five of these that you need to do so they'll be listed in the description box so once you've done that you simply add this stuff to the scoreboard features of the game and then it's ready to play um, but one more thing you might want to know is if you're going to play with less than 16 players then you have to wait around for all of the players to be teleported one by one and so this purple line right here on either side there are a bunch of command blocks and each of them in a way represents one player um, so let's grab a repeater and if you're only playing with four people then what you would need to do is you need to come here you'd need to go one two three four and then place a repeater like that and then this means that once the signal gets to this bit here it will skip the rest of it and it will go around to the other side um, so you'd also need to place one right there as well and then that mean, means that the game would actually start immediately after four players have entered but otherwise, um, if you didn't do that, then your four players would just be playing and the game would start a little bit later. That means the border system kicks in a little bit later on. But if you wanted it so as soon as your four players have been teleported in, then that is how you would do that. So that is pretty much everything there is to know about Battle Royale, how to install it, how to play it. And I hope you enjoy this because it took me a long time to put this together and I think it would be cool if there were more games that were made like this. You know, a simple box that you can import into a world and then you have a new game inside the vanilla game. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and help support the channel. And if you would like to learn about how this all works in a little more detail, then maybe I can make a video on that. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.